Love. What is love? The film industry is constantly bombarding us with the word love. But yes, in the narrower sense. Go into the flashback and try to remember the first instance that love made its way into your life. Go back to the origin of the story of who you are. The first sign of love. Your mom loved you from the very first moment she came to know about you. How else would she have gone through so much pain she had to endure for you? Not only was she there for you till she gave birth, but also every time you cried out for her, every night you would trouble her and she would spend sleepless nights but for you and that too with a smile. She was there when you took your first steps. She held you every time you had fall to console and inspire you. She wiped off every tear and helped you stand up again against the world till you could fly. Spreading your wings wide open, she was the one who would be happier when you were when you emerged victorious. She would be your cheerleader no matter what you chose in life. She is the angel who gave you the support of her wings till yours could open. Her love for you is unconditional. She never needs your degree or money, nor does she look at your success or beauty to love you. She just loves you even when the world is against you. She stays by your side and will always wait for you to appreciate her efforts. And even if you are never thankful to her, she will still wake up each day to support and love you with the same unconditional love. If you are thinking that your mother is the most important person in your life, you certainly aren't wrong about it. But there still was a person who supported your mom through all of this, no matter whether morally, financially, or through mere love. He stood up for both of you through the struggles of life. He was your first hero. He taught you how to be strong in a world which isn't always fair. He taught you to believe in what is and what can be if only you believed in God and in yourself. He is the one who has sometimes been hard on you for your own good. He lived to see you grow from a crybaby to a strong grown-up, to see you stand up on your own legs, to help you fly away from the nest he built for you, and also to see you build your nest and proudly say, that's my kid. Even when he has helped you fulfill your dreams and see you stand on your feet. He doesn't leave your hand. His shadow guides you in every situation you are in. You will always be his little baby, though he may not say it out aloud. Appreciate or not, this fatherly figure will always show you the way. Above all, the most important has been unseen power you may forget about as you go about busy with your own life, earning money, making a career, or looking after your family. But this power has never left your side. From creating you to sustaining you, till you die and are reborn again, this is the power that will be by your side, even when your folks are in beside, even closer to you than your jugular veins. If not for this power, you would never have been where you are today. Though unseen, his love is unconditional. You surely are a big sinner, yet he forgives you with unending mercy. It surely needs unconditional love to be so forgiving. He provides for you no matter what you have. Even if you do not have anything, even if you do not have the basic necessity of life, Yet, the very factors that are keeping you alive and going is a blessing for you. Your beautiful body, your supporting family, your warm home, the list can go on and on for it is unending. But just remember, you may not see the power, yet he always is and will always be there for you. Yes, but it surely is your responsibility towards him to be an obedient slave and to never disobey him especially never to associate anyone and worship with him. God didn't make you lonely. He gifted you with siblings to pester you, tease you, and be a trouble for you. They are not only your worst enemies, but also your best powers.
or if you remember, you always had them in, in your best days and even in your worst. The times you needed advices, you turned to them. The times you committed mistakes and wanted to escape a scolding, they have always been your support system. From the days you were in school to the time you get married and even after that, they will love and support you. From the time you were a baby till you grow old, they'll always be there. If there is anyone you can be your true self with, it's when you are with them. No matter how mad they are with you, they will be there for you in times of crisis. They lift your spirits even if it means making fun of themselves. They will fight against it. Everyone, if need be, to see you smile. They are essentially your bodyguards, your teachers, your buddies and your soulmates. They can be the laziest beings, yes, but still they will stand for you without expectation. Then there have been those lovely people you call friends who can be mean as well as loving at the same time. They can be caring as well as selfish, sweet as well as bitter, cunning as well as cute at the same time. They can bring a smile on your face in a split of a second they can, and inspire you to fight for your greatest dreams till you achieve them. And they do. They are the siblings God gifted you from another mother. As you grow up and start to experience life in its ups and downs, you meet someone who makes your knees go weak, whose smile is the world to you, who makes you smile, takes care of you. Finds a way to make you feel special, understands you the way you want yourself to be understood, takes your hand and promises to never leave it, promises to be there no matter what, to fight against the world if need be, to help you with whatever it may take to achieve your dreams, to be a shining light in every darkness, to walk with you through hell if you cannot find heaven, and you feel that you can be ever happy with this single person, believing that. You do not need anyone else to make you happy. And then you start betraying the ones who had stood by you through thick and thin. You rebel and do everything you can just to be with this one person. Many a times you even lie to your parents. But do you ever think how much they had to go through to see you where you are today and to stand by you in everything you chose to be? And if someone tries to make you realize your mistakes, you bluntly say, Ah, oh, but I love him or her. They keep quiet. When in fact, another question should have been shot at you. Don't your parents, your family, your friends love you? And don't you love them? They come first in the priority list because they have been there for you the longest. They have never left them. Your side, even in situations when you were wrong, even if you do fall in love with someone, betraying the ones you already have is not the right way to get true love. This love will die eventually. It will perish. Why? Just because it will lead to grief, guilt and resentment. Eventually. So, Approach your family and the ones who are the most important to you. Ask them for their advice and to help you to analyze if this person you are in love with is the right one for you because they know it very well. And with their sh shining and guiding light, you win this person's love over. Now that's the best way for even his or her loved ones are and in fact, they should be the first priority before you can be. Because if he can or she can leave the ones who have been there for him or her all through his life, he or she can leave you or someone else.